she literally looked at me and she goes, Gabby, I lift now. Get on my back. I was like, I died. I was like, all right, let's go. I jumped on her back. This girl, what a friend. She carried me all the way to the shop. <laughs> okay, anyways. Hey, fam. Hey, fam. Hey, Gabby J fam. I don't know. I feel like I should be one of those um, vloggers with, like, the really cool intros. So that's what that was supposed to be. ADD. Anyways, we are back on the vlog. I don't know what I just said. I stutter a lot, though. But we are back. And today, I am doing something a little more serious. It's my hand. Um. <laughs> but yeah, we're doing something a little more serious that I've been wanting to do for a while now. I've been having a lot of people send me requests about it. It's actually perfect timing because CRPS Awareness Month is next month, so... Boom, killed it. Okay, just kidding. But really, it is perfect timing. And I really wanted to do a CRPS vlog for a long time. So this isn't going to be the first one. I'm probably going to do a series. Or so I'm going to do like a little living with CRPS situation. And yeah, just show you guys what it's like to live with CRPS every day. Because it's definitely not fun. Kind of sucks. Kind of the worst. And yeah. I've been getting a lot of requests. I don't really think people know a lot about CRPS in general, and they especially don't probably know what it's like to live with it every single day, um, or understand what it's like to live with it every single day. But yeah, so hopefully this vlog can answer some questions for people, or maybe just shed some light about what CRPS is, how people can maybe still have it and be active with it and pursue their dreams. 12 seconds later. For starters, how I got my CRPS. That is a really, really long and complicated story, so I'm not going to get into like full, full detail. But anyways, like I said, very long and complicated story, so I'll just give you a brief overview or whatever. Anyway, <laughs> anyways, what happened was is I was on tour with the dance convention. I did a dance move wrong. I heard a pop in my left foot. It was extremely painful. I kind of just thought it was a sprain at first. I've sprained myself a lot. Um, I was kind of, you know, contracted to keep dancing, so I kept dancing, and I thought everything was okay. Um, I danced through many of sprains. I do not recommend that to any young dancers watching this. Do not dance on a sprain of any kind. Sit down, not worth it. Anyways, back in the day, I thought it was okay to dance through a sprain, so I thought it was a sprain, kept dancing. Long story short, when I got home from this convention, I went straight to the hospital, the ER, my foot was like this big, it was purple, it was black, I couldn't move it barely, I literally could not put pressure on it, it was like the most painful sprain of my life. Um, they also told me it was a sprain, and they gave me crutches and a boot, and told me to stay off of it and ice it. Everything you normally do for a sprain, I was like, cool, I got this, I'm a sprain pro, I trip over my own foot, I literally sprain myself every day, I got this, no problem. Mm, sorry, ADV again. Okay, anyways, months went by. Months. I'm talking months. Like, this was probably four months went by. My foot is still this big. I'm like, this is not a sprain. Sprains do not take four months to heal. Go back to the hospital. And my foot is still huge, by the way. I go back to the hospital. They try to tell me again that it's a sprain. I'm like, there is no way this is a sprain. Keep in mind, I did not have medical insurance at the time. So all these hospital visits are costing me out the butt. And they couldn't give me an MRI because MRIs are money. So I was like, I don't have the money for an MRI. I can only do an x-ray. On the x-rays, they were claiming they didn't find any broken bones. I don't know how that's possible. We'll move on. But water, you know, gotta hydrate. <laughs> Anyways, so they send me home again and tell me to rest it more. But then for another two months, it's still huge and getting bigger. So now keep in mind, this is a total of a six month period that my foot has been injured. In this entire six month period, I have not been able to walk. I have not been able to take a shower on my own. I have not been able to stand. I have not been able to dance. I, guys, I literally could not even sleep without pain. It was horrible. I remember I'd wake up every night just sobbing in pain. like, I, And I would just be like, dude, like five seconds without this pain, I would do anything. So now it's been almost seven months, and my mom, thankfully, was like, savior of all saviors. She found me this expertise doctor. He went in, he didn't even give me an x-ray. There was a lot of other stuff that happened in between, by the way, where I saw all these other doctors in between that misdiagnosed me as well, and like one gave me a cortisone shot in the wrong spot, and like could have like ended my, oh, it was bad. But then thankfully my mom found this really, really amazing doctor that specializes in dance and injuries, and 
I came into his office. He didn't even like x-ray my foot or anything. I just started telling him my symptoms and the pain I had been going through and everything. And immediately he was like, oh, you have complex regional pain syndrome. And I was like, me too. What? What is that? Like, did you just make that up? Like, I've never heard of that in my life. That is really long. What? Like, I was so confused. You know, and then he began explaining to me what CRPS is and how basically it's an injury that you can get when he explained to me that basically what happened was I probably got an initial injury and then that injury went so haywire for so long without being treated that my nerve endings kind of disconnected from my brain. So now they're kind of doing their own thing and I can't really control them and that's why they're so inflamed and doing their own thing. But he recommended me to go see a doctor at UVA who then was... A specialist with CRPS he knew a lot about it and he was able to recommend the right medicines the right treatments he got me into pain management specialist and from there I'm now on all the treatments that I'm still on and it's funny because right before I went and saw him I actually saw a doctor at the University of Virginia that uh, took an MRI on my foot and found the broken sesamoid bone in my foot so that's the initial injury that caused all of this by the way not a sprain I broke one of the little sesamoid bones in my left foot and it caused all of this but he initially found that and he wanted to operate on me and get it out. He told me the bone was too small and too shattered to repair. He was like, we need to get it out of your foot. Also, he found out if I had gone through with that surgery with having the CRPS, I wouldn't have ever walked again. He would have damaged my nerve ending so badly I would have been... Okay, so all that crazy drama aside, that's, yeah, that's how I got to where I am today with this disorder so now I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I go through every single day with it so yeah um I think the hardest part probably is that every day with CRPS is completely different so I don't wake up one day and my foot feels the same as yesterday you know it's different every single day so I kind of have to just <laughs> so I kind of just have to take it day by day but yeah so the first thing I usually do when I wake up my foot is really really stiff that's the worst part so for me my CRPS is in my foot so every morning when I wake up my toe is really really stiff usually so <clears throat> sorry my room is gross I usually have to spend time like literally just rolling through my foot like this as you can see it's a little discolored but like it's not that bad compared to where it gets so yeah, usually it's this part right here will get really, really discolored, and then I rub it. But yeah, I usually spend different amounts of time rubbing it depending on, bleh, depending on how bad it hurts that day or how stiff it is. And then I try and like, just try and get it a little, bend it and wiggle it and pull it back. And then here's the real fun. So part of me... Being in pain management is having to take all these pills every single day for my CRPS. So I wake up every morning and I have to take these. And then I have to keep track of them through the afternoon and then through the night because I have to take them through the day. So yeah. And I take them weekly. They're a week long thing. It's really fun. I feel like a grandma. <laughs> then I usually spend time just trying to like roll my foot through Releve. So that really helps with the stiffness. Although it really hurts, like, a lot. I have to, like, grit my teeth as I do this. Obviously, being a dancer, like, this stuff never used to hurt me. So that kind of sucks, honestly. But it could always be worse. And, yeah, that's usually how I start off, like, my morning with CRPS. And then it kind of varies per what I'm doing with my day. So I will keep you guys posted throughout my day. And keep you guys posted on my pain level and what I do to cope with it. So, yeah. Love you guys. Hey friends, so yeah, um, I was trying to do promo for the day, and then I have minor little setbacks happen. I just dropped a brush on my foot, a brush, and this happened. But yeah, I dropped a brush on it, and it's like already turning purple. Literally, this happened three seconds ago, and it's like already changing colors. Hurts like crazy. That's the brush. Like, it's super light. Shouldn't even have hurt, but yeah. And the only reason it seems like I'm not like in the excruciating pain right now is just because I'm like I have a very high pain tolerance at this point so I'm pretty good at dealing with it um but I'm in a lot of pain right now my foot's actually killing me I'm gonna go deal with that and then of course I'm having shattered bone in my foot I have moments like this where I'm walking my dog and I can't walk barefoot because I just took a step and I felt my bone pop even more nailing it
2,000 years later. So another really tricky and annoying part to having CRPS is temperature and weather. So thankfully, since I've been spending a lot more time on the West Coast, it's not as bad. But um, when I was on the East Coast, I had a lot of trouble with the cold. Even the slightest drop in temperature will make my CRPS hurt. It'll make my foot ache. And then I usually have to go soak my foot in the tub in hot water or I put a heating pad on it. I tend to stay away from heating pads. I don't really like them as much. So yesterday, I actually went and got to take my first dance class in like a year. It's been forever. Um, but afterwards, my foot was killing me. Like I could not even bend it. So I had to come home and spend um, like a good 30 minutes or so um, soaking it in the tub and then I um, spent some time out and then I got back in and soaked it for a while. I also rubbed it in between, put my numbing gel on it, so all that good stuff really helped. But yeah, these are all the little things that kind of happen to me daily, um, or that I live with daily with CRPS that no one really knows about, or unless you have CRPS, I don't really think you realize, or you know someone with CRPS, you don't really understand what they go through. So I wanted to share with you a little bit about what happens during my day, um, and this is just one vlog. I'm definitely gonna do a series and show you guys more and more what happens with my CRPS throughout different jobs I have. You know, to a lot of people, you guys just see me having fun at these festivals and shuffling around and cutting shapes and that's amazing and I love that. I love that you can see me doing that, but you don't see what happens afterwards. For instance, at Electric Zoo, I will never forget my best friend, she's been my best friend since like ninth grade. Um, she came with me from home and it started pouring rain the second day. It was freezing cold. Like I said, I've been spending a lot of time on the West Coast, so my body is very used to warmer weather. Um, it got freezing very fast. My foot did not like that. It started aching immediately, and then it started raining. That did not help. My foot started aching even more. Um, I tried to tough it out, but it got to the point where I started sobbing inside the venue because it hurt so bad. Like, And obviously, there was nowhere to really sit because of all the rain. It was so muddy. Like, so we literally booked it for the exit. Um, if you've ever been to Electric Zoo, when you leave the venue, you have to wait for a shuttle. Um, and since it was raining, everyone tried to leave at once. Well, not everyone, but most of the people tried to leave at once. So there was an extremely long line, um, which is understandable, obviously, because again, it was pouring, everyone wanted to leave. But for me, it was excruciating. Again, before we even got to the shuttle, I was in so much pain. I'm like trying so hard to get there. If you would watch my stories from Electric Zoo, you saw my shoe broke like as soon as I got there that day. So my foot was already having a bad day. Um, so I was in so much pain walking there, I stopped. If you know me, if you're someone who's close with me, you know it takes a lot to make me cry when it comes to pain. I will walk with sprained ankles, broken bones, not that you should do that, but it takes a lot to make me cry. I was in so much pain, like... So finally, I think it was like the like 10th time I had stopped, I looked at my friend Angela and I was like, I, I can't do this, like I'm in so much pain. This girl... <laughs> I'm 5'5", five five, and I think Angela's maybe like 5 foot. She's like a good 5 inches shorter than me. I don't know why this is on my hand. Okay, anyways. <laughs> she's like a good 5 inches shorter than me. She literally was like, get on my back. And I'm like, Angela, what? <laughs> like, no, I'm not getting on your back. You can't, like, it's pouring. You're gonna fall. Like, no, I'm not doing that to you. No way. <laughs> she literally looked at me and she goes, Gabby, I lift now. Get on my back. <laughs> I was like, I died. I was like, alright, let's go. I jumped on her back. This girl, what a friend. She carried me all the way to the shuttle on her. So from there, we had to wait in line. I think, honestly, we were in line for an hour. Like, literally, that's not an exaggeration. Waiting for the shuttle because they come, like, every four minutes. There was a huge line. It took forever this whole time. I'm, like, trying so hard not to cry. Um, it was, it was bad. It was then from there, her and I were staying in Long Island, so I had to pay, like, we usually take, like, the subway and a train and, like, all this other stuff. I literally just paid, like, for $90 for an Uber because that's how bad my foot hurt, and I'm broke, so it was bad. But yeah, <laughs> that's the kind of little stuff that happens all the time behind the scenes. Like, I don't tell people about it because there's no need, really. Um, now I'm sharing it because I want people to kind of know what happens behind the scenes with CRPS. I think it, more awareness needs to be spread. Um, and especially with CRPS Awareness Month coming up. I definitely just want to vlog about it more. Um, and I've had a lot of requests about it. Like, especially, and I think that's amazing. A lot of people have just been like, show me what it's like to live with this. I want to know. I want to know what you go through. So, I will tell you guys this right now. It sucks. 
it's not easy. Um, there's plenty of times where I'm just trying to dance or freestyle or come up with a new video or just whatever and my foot will pop or it'll hurt and I have to stop or or even deeper than that. I'll want to run with my nephew and my foot will start aching and I have to take a break or Cash will want to bite my feet and I have to tell him no because it hurts my bone, the one that's broken, you know. There's so many little things that a normal 23 year old, well I'm almost 23, is able to do and I can't so that kind of but it could be a lot worse, so I'm very thankful. But um, here's the first year of this vlog. I hope you got a little bit more of an idea of what it's like to live with this. Oh, 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 oh. Cash, what are you going to do for CRPS Awareness Month? Okay. Mm that. Okay. Mm vlog. 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 Gabby's vlog. Ding.